People would probably be surprised to know that I spent a lot of time alone. I like visiting people and I like seeing my friends and all that, but I spend a lot of time alone. At least we have a chance to find tracks. Hold that camera in those rapids. I grew up in the South Bay of LA, down by the beach. So I grew up like a typical SoCal skate surf punk kid. Luckily I had a dad that loved the outdoors and would take us camping. So I did get out in the woods, you know, like Kings Canyon, Yosemite. We drove cross country several times. But the first time that I distinctly was like, there's no doubt about what I'm hearing right now. There was a meadow around me. There was one little thicket of trees and I was sitting at the edge of that thicket and it came into that tree line and just started roaring. It sounded like an elephant, like just rah, like smashing, snapping trees. I just remember like just crap my pants, like almost, like for real almost did it. My passion's outside of squatching, surfing, diving, fishing, sailing, I like all that stuff. It just blows my mind when I talk to people and they tell me I'm interested, but like I don't want to let people know about it or I don't let people know what I'm doing or I wouldn't want to go out and like ask, you know, I tell people just go out, go out in a rural area, you know, a lot of people in the city are like, where do I start? What do I do? Like, I just go out in the woods somewhere and go to the local diner, gas station, start talking to the locals. Where have you heard Bigfoot stories around here? Where would, where have you heard Bigfoots live around? Even if you don't believe in Bigfoot, if you've heard about them, where do people say they live? And just go out there and check it out. Like, who cares what people think? No one that ever achieved anything cared what people thought about them.